Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 107 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. Uh, we are here at the Sorcerer Trainer since we've just reached level 52 and we have new abilities to get, so... Ice Needle upgrade, very cool. A Lightning Trap upgrade, sort of useful. Next level of Magma uh, Mana Barrier, excellent. So that gives us like 6,000 more health uh, with that. Magma Bomb upgrade, nice. Glacial Retreat and Hailstorm. Now this is something really interesting that I have not gotten before. So we're going to go ahead and learn that one, of course. Now, let's see here. If we look at Hailstorm, its instant cast has cost 1,200 mana, 26 second cooldown, and pretty decent base damage. Wow. Slows targets by 10% per hit. All right. So what I'd like to do, uh, because we haven't been using Mind Blast very much at all, I'm going to go ahead and remove Mind Blast from our list of spells. And I'm actually going to uh, put Arcane Pulse in position 7, which doesn't really have any meaning to you guys, but that's, that's basically I'm not going to use it that often. And that is our Hailstorm. Wow, that is really cool looking. So this will damage enemies that are in it, slow them down, stacks, um, yeah, wow. So definitely something exciting. And before I forget, I want to go to the Glyph Master as well and see what other glyphs we can get. So good, 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 good. Uh, there's one, two, three glyphs. And that's all of the ones available right now. These are both Hailstorm glyphs and... Ooh. Oh, that's Retaliate Activates Mana Barrier. Um, so 150... 160 gold down the drain. Not thrilled about that, but hey, at least we've got new glyphs. Um, while we're here, I'll go ahead and sell off some of this stuff. Stave we can't use. Um, this earring is actually better than what we're wearing. I don't know why we haven't been wearing that. Um, and bombs that I will sell off as well. There we go. So let me go ahead and use these glyphs, and then we'll go in and those are both the same, so we'll equip this one. Yes. Uh, so yeah, Hailstorm's going to take some getting used to. I'm not sure whether... well, I guess that'll work. Yeah. Uh, so I'll have to get used to that configuration. Of skills and stuff. Yeah, watch out for tricky Popori. They can be pretty tricky. Alright, nice. So we're still at about a thousand gold. Not bad at all. Uh, other than that, I think we are good to go to head back to uh, the other continent and continue questing. So, very excited to try out this new ability. I don't, uh, don't know quite how it'll work. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Glyphs. What do we have in terms of glyphs? We have four points available to us, so can we get anything good? Um, let's see. Our Hailstorm one, this would re decrease the cooldown by 20% for three points. Um, or we are one point away from decreasing the... Uh, getting a chance to decrease the cooldown, eliminate cooldown on magma bombs. So I think I'm going to go for decreased hailstorm cooldown, which is cool. Uh, huh. Yeah, it is cool. Um, now it's down to 21 seconds, basically, of cooldown. So, you know, not, uh, not a huge difference, but hey, it could make, uh, could make all the difference down the road. So we're just going to grab the Pegasus here, since we are in Kyator currently, Sylvanoth to be precise. Um, I just refer to the continents by their main cities, since I don't 
I don't know which one's Arun and which one's Shara, but uh, anyway, be right back. We'll continue questing in Sylvanoth. Okay, so we are back in the Dark Quaver Woods area, and uh, basically we're heading back down to the camp where we were before. It looks like we have to report to Winsdale at the Valon near Alum near Outpost. Uh, so that's where we were turning in quests last time, I believe. Uh, so we're going to head down through here, and then we've got a number of other quests. We've got to find various people. Um, this one, the Dracolith Hearts, we are definitely not doing. Uh, but yeah, we can. Uh, once we turn in this quest, we'll decide what's next for us. So here's Winsdale. What's up, Winsdale? Victory for Valkion, there we go. Nice, 500,000 XP. So, uh, looks like we have a quest up north. That would be Ebna. Uh, Quackerill is in another region. Ameline is down south. Uh, the Staff of Isran is up here. So let's go get the Staff of Isran and talk with Ebna. And then, then we should be able to continue on, so let's... Do we have to gather this? Nope. Can't gather that. Can we gather this? Nope. I just wanted to check to make sure we didn't have a quest that wasn't tracked. Yeah, okay. Find and rescue Mira before it's too late. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's Mira. That was easy. The Indomitable Spirit. Alright, eliminate the priests that are reinforcing the Ishaldu. One, two, and three. Alright, so the first one looks like they're over maybe in this direction. No. That's... we can't do anything that way. Uh, let's talk with Ebna, and then we'll go after these priests. Since that may lead us in the right sort of direction. Uh, Ebna should be right over here somewhere. There we go. We can see her past these outcroppings and stuff. How you doing? Handle that. I have a uh, open you. wide and say maw. How can I help? Yeah, that's not one we're doing. And I'm here to help. There we go. Alright. So we can gather these, but uh, as far as this goes, we're gonna abandon that and abandon that, since those are both group quests that we are not doing. So, uh, let's see here. Shield up. Now, that, that. There we go. That's what's up. Wow, that really blasted him. Okay, cool. Let's try this again. Take a little of that. Yep, that killed him. Nice. So, you know, we'll have to especially try to use that on a couple of guys at once. That'll be where it's most effective, I think. But uh, it's certainly capable of taking out individual enemies without too much trouble. So, very cool. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Can we aggro another one? And do something interesting. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Doing damage to both of them at once. And we're getting beaten in the face. We gotta put our shield up, so... We still need to be wary of our shield, obviously, but, uh... That's pretty cool. I have both positive and negative feelings about this type of thing. On one hand, it's clearly going to make me more powerful to be able to use this ability. On the other hand, I'm always a little apprehensive about 
a major new ability like this that I'm really tempted to use. Because I have a feeling that it kind of screws up my rotation, especially initially. And that'll result in overall lower DPS until I get used to using it and can weave it in with other abilities um, in a competent sort of manner. So if I'm doing really stupid things or there's abilities that I should use that I'm not, uh, that's why for a little while, you know, it takes a little getting used to. So it's especially nice with guys that stay at range like this, my goodness. And I suppose basically any time that you lure enemies into it, it's also pretty good. So, that's cool. Ha! Ah, he can't hit us at all. Can't hit us. Man. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see what we can do with uh, a little more regen, since we are down on mana. This is just one more thing that'll tend to use up our mana quickly. But, hey. Wow, what the heck was that? What hit him initially that did that huge amount of damage? Because something... I started casting. He took some damage, then the fire blast hit him. I'll have to try to rewatch that and see if I can figure out what did that. Maybe I accidentally casted Plasma Blast or something. That's cool. Just roll at me for no reason. Wow. That uh, was a surprisingly effective set of attacks. No, you can't not go in this. Come on. These stupid mob. Ah, I hate these when they're like, Hey, what's up? I'm gonna hang out right outside of the range of your attack. For the entire duration of it being effective, that's cool. Wow. That's really irksome. There, take that. This stupid mob. Yeah, I hope you like getting hailed. Ha. Huh. Alright. Uh, I still have regen going, so there's no point in using more regen. There we go. I'm just trying to kill these guys off for our quest, and this guy's just running off. Cool. I wanted to try to do that to make the, uh, oh, what's it called? Make the arrow thing go away. Like, make him not able to hit me with his arrow, so that's, that's what I was trying to do there. I don't think it worked. I don't, I'm not sure, but I, I don't think that worked. I wanted, because I know the arrow will, like, change directions if I run a little bit, but I wanted to try to move, like, a lot and see if it would still chase after me, so it's kind of interesting. I'll have to try to aggro another one, get them to do that, and see what happens. See how far the arrow will follow, or if that actually breaks the, uh, breaks the normal arrow following stuff and we don't take any damage then. So hey, what's up? Start to arrow me. Yeah, no, don't run at me. There it is. Ah, dang it. I couldn't couldn't blink before he got at me, but that's whatever, fine. We'll never know if the arrow follows or not. Nice. Dead dead Thulsons or whatever. We got their Fulsen Amulets. Bam, bam, bam. We still have our speed cast on. Well, we did until just a second ago. I 
every time I get a new ability, makes me just that much more reckless. Alright. Cool. Got that. And let's go turn this in. Since... Oh, I think we need more mushrooms, too. Where are the mushrooms? We only have three of them, and we need six. Here's a mushroom. I was initially paying attention for them, and then I kind of forgot about it partway through. There's another one. I'll grab this, and there should be another around here pretty close. Uh, yeah, here we go. Nice. So yeah, we'll grab the grab the mushrooms. Search and destroy. Find the cave southeast of Firebase. Oh right. All right, so we gotta try to go do that dungeon at some point. Maybe attention. that's the quest we don't want to do. So, all right, first one of these priestly guys should be up in this direction. That was just a plant. Just a plant aggroed to us. There's lots of orisks, which are scary, but fortunately shouldn't give us too much trouble since we can avoid them pretty well. Uh, let's see here. So, that's our guy, I guess. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's just wrecking him. Oh my goodness. Wow, that does so much damage. Nice. Should be able to get away a little bit. Yeah, wow. Especially considering how resilient that guy seemed to be to my normal attacks, that Ice Storm did a lot of damage. It's really the Ice Storm coupled with the Fire Blast, but... Hey. That's... Oh! Dang it! Okay, fine. I'll leave the ore and teleport out of here. Fine. Here I thought, you know, hey, I just killed that guy. It'll take him more than three seconds to respawn. I can gather this ore and but, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So now I need to go kill... Veyruk. Veyruk. Something like that. Uh, so he should be down in this direction. So what's... Let's see, we got a quest to turn in. The Shadow Mushrooms we need to go to Tethan at the camp here. Since we didn't turn them in and, uh... I know I'm jumping a lot on my horse, I apologize for that otter butt, but, uh, alright, happy to help, there we go, nice, another half a million XP, uh, so then, Veyruk should be down this direction, and hopefully not too tough, let's see, there he is. Wow, he has a lot of little guys with him. So. Wow, those guys move fast, too. Uh, but the hailstorm wiped them out. That's good. So there's only a couple left to try to deal with. Uh, he's regenerating his health. Shoot. Nice. He's dead. But we want to hurry up and gather that. Okay, good. Because he should respawn any second now. Like that. Yeah, wow. That's a fast respawn. I have no idea why the respawn on these guys is so fast, but it's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, alrighty, we're back. Sorry, for some stupid reason, the game decided to give me a fatal client exception FFF thing, so not sure what's up with that. Uh, those hadn't, haven't really been an issue in a while for me, so uh, it's kind of just random 
and honestly really irritating because every time that happens I have a mini heart attack because it's like, oh god, I'm not sure if all of the stuff that I've filmed up to this point is going to be just totally trash or what. Because it's kind of random-ish. Uh, this time I was able to like save the in the rain. All right. There we go. I was able to sort of save the recording right as it crashed, so it didn't didn't have any discontinuity. But sometimes I deal with some file corruptions. So uh, let's see here. We should be able to go find this last guy, Rogga Hark, across here, and he's going to be the third one that we have to kill. So we want to avoid the dragons. Or, sorry, not dragons, Dracoloths. Totally different. I don't know what makes it a, a loth instead of a dragon, but... Alright, let's see, this guy... Ah, there he is. Cool, cool, cool. So, that, that, a little bit of that, and some fire blast. Nice. This seems like more of a melee oriented guy or something. He's chasing after me like like he wants to get me. Uh, shoot, that is not what I intended to do. Nor is that. Wow. So this guy definitely hits hard. There we go, that ought to deal with him. Nice. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. I didn't think he'd be able to run through the hailstorm without uh, a bit of effort, at least. We gotta get away from here, so... That... Yeah, that is super dangerous when they, they respawn all of a sudden. So we gotta... We gotta go in this other little region over here and get the Regent Seal and kill Jalmarak Thrashers, so... That's where we're going to be headed next. I do know that we have this story quest to turn in. we got to report back to Mira. Uh, we will do that once we are done down here. Uh, provided we have time in this episode. Worst case, we can just do that next time. So I've noticed the episodes have gotten a little strange, too, since there's so much to do in any given like amount of time now that... Half hour almost doesn't seem like enough uh, for an episode, but then again, I don't want to make it like an hour long because people might not really want to sit there for an hour and it would double the amount of time that I need to spend recording, basically double my processing time, so there's reasons to not do that. Uh, but, you know, I, I apologize if it seems like we don't ever make that much progress in a given episode, um, we are moving along, so, you know, take heart in that, and just, uh, enjoy, you know? Um, so, at least the episodes are going well, and we're not losing XP, so that's good. There's that. Dang it. There we go. Nice. Two dead thrashers, so even right on the edge of that, they can definitely take damage from it, so. Let's see here. Shield up. Uh, good, good. Blast them. And then... <laughs> the more they're in Hailstorm, the more they slow down, so the more damage they take. It's great. That makes it really, really effective if you get them on the far side of it or something like that, where they have to walk through the whole thing, and less so if, you know, they're near the front of it. Beautiful. And there they're dead. Oh, wow! Enigmatic Preserving Plate. So, 
Let's see what that is. Uh, that is an enigmatic level 54 or above chess piece. That's really nice. Uh, we'll have to look at selling that on the old trade broker. So definitely something to hang on to for now. Uh, and we are back up again above a thousand gold, so that's cool. Alright, let's see here. Perfect. He ran right into it. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Blink away from his grab. And splash him. Nice. Dead. Dead regent. Alright, cool. So we can go back, take this, turn it in, um, turn in our quest at the camp, and we should be able to go talk to Nira and see what's up with her. So, we must have left this. I didn't even realize. So let's see if we can avoid these guys. I really like these flowers, they're very pretty. Pretty flowers. Alright, so. Uh, no, then. That's not the right way to go. Here we go. So we can run up this hill here, avoiding our dangerous enemies. And talk to Amling. Treating with traitors. There we go. So a bit over half a million XP there. And just for reference, it takes us about 31 million to level. And we are at about 4.5 million. So moving along. Uh, we're 15% of the way to level 53, so that's uh, not bad, I think, considering we only hit 52 last time. Um, could certainly be worse. There's that, and we got new gloves from that. Are they better than what we wear? Uh, no, they are not. So we will not be replacing our gloves yet. That is not a better necklace either. Alright, cool. So we can head up to uh, Nira and report to her. See what's next in this quest chain, I guess. Doo -doo -doo. Let me grab this ore since. Let's look at our gathering stats. We are at uh, 500 and. Or 200. 500, 258. Uh, we are at 241 for plants and 263 for energy. So once we reach 300, uh, we'll be getting the hat things respective to those various uh, gathering professions, I guess. And uh, if we get all three, or rather when we get all three, we'll be getting a uh, an extra inventory row. So. Indomitable Spirit. We need to deactivate the Ishlangu. So, what's up, Ishlangu? This thing's like really sci fi y to be just chilling in the swamp. Like, all of this is kind of high tech. I don't know, I guess it's Argon technology, but it's like pipes and stuff. Are we disactivating this thing? No, nope, there we go. Had to hit E again. It looked like we were. But... Oh boy. Wow. So what is that? That's... It's like some sort of magic trident thing. Oh, it's Isrin's staff. Okay. The Indomitable Spirit. We gotta stop their ritual. And... Oh, wow. Alright, so... Tulsa, she can't be spotted. Let her hide within me and we'll save Sikander. Alright. So, heart and soul. Uh, weaponsmithing. Let's see. Oh, twin swords, lance, axe, greatsword, disc, bow, scepter, and staff. So we're going to pick the disc. And good to go. Come with me. Alright, so we just got... An extra two something million, so we are a quarter of a 
quarter of the way, and we got Spirited Away, the achievement, so yay. I like that movie. That's a good movie. Um, so nice, that's, uh, that's that complete, and we should be able to... We still have to meet Quackrill, that's a little later on. We gotta go to Yedwin at Dragonfall. Uh, just Dragonfall. That's just the name of it. Okay. So we'll be headed back there. Uh, but that uh, that about wraps up this episode. I'm going to go back and stay in Dragonfall, and then next time we will uh, talk with Yedwin and see what's next in this quest chain. So thank you guys very much for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed it, and look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye!